What do you guys think of the new setup? Welcome back everybody. It's time to lock down another Booster Cracking Sunday and today we've got a couple very, very exciting things. First off, first off, new Force of Will set, Game of Gods Reloaded is in action. It is live and I got my box in and I'm ready to open this up and find some awesome stuff. Second, as you can see, we got a new background. I've been working all week on setting this up and showcasing all the crazy stuff I've got and just giving you guys teasers of all those crazy stuff that we open up on the channel, always in the background. You know, I'm sick of the old one. It was time for a change, so here we are. If you haven't seen the short yet of me uh, setting this whole thing up, there was a short on the channel for that, so go check that out. Shorts are daily, by the way. We open up Pokemon packs, Magic the Gathering. They come out all the time, so check those out. But once again, it's new Force of Will set time. I couldn't think of a better time to introduce a new back drop with a new set of force of will i'm very very excited to open this one up let's check it out got to get used to the new setup the new camera angle so this is barely fitting on my screen looks like i gotta raise the camera up a little bit but there we go game of gods reloaded looking pretty freaking sweet guys as you know it's a brand new set the prices are absolutely insane with this one so we're not doing prices on this video because they're all going to be inaccurate anyways but you know how it goes our big poles are going to be the j rulers they all go from 20 to 30 dollars typically when the sets come out and they usually hold that value roughly for a good while so those are going to be the things we're looking for today so yeah let's uh let's get into this thing and see what we can find get the plastic off of this beautiful looking box i think we get a really nice promo card too or buy box promo so let's see Bang, there it is. Yeah, there it is. It's Guinevere. Oh my gosh, just look at how awesome she is. Guinevere Space Time Watcher. That is freaking sweet. I love, love, love the artwork on this card. It is stellar. I mean, come on, that looks amazing. And then of course, all our lovely looking packs, they all look wonderful. We've got a bunch of awesome things to be looking for in here, including like Shiva's back. Shiva's gonna be an awesome one to look for for our J Ruler. Let's get some packs out, let's get rolling. First up, let's see it. Oh man, brand new set. We're gonna, you know, kind of take our time here on this one a little bit. Look at that, back to nature. Shiva coming in with all her arms. We got the Mimi Tribe again. Ooh, these cards are a little warped, it looks like. That's a bummer. Phantom Beastmaster of Mant. Still don't know how to say that. There's our first rare Sky Round version 2.0, the Arena Expanse. Our first foil is a normal Shiva's Wind Aura. Very, very cool. And then our awesome looking Magic Stones. Let's see what's in this one. Come on, give us the good stuff here. We got a bunny. Dark Seed Fragment of Power, Space Time Mage, Mimi Tribe, Unity of the Machine Knights, the Three Beast Warriors, and oh, was that our rare? Three Beast Warriors was our rare. And then we got Trishula, a sick looking foil rare. That's pretty dope. Awesome looking card. Let's see the next one. Come on, we got our first rare foil. We need a super rare foil. We got some dope, dope looking characters in this set that I'm really looking forward to pulling. Arthur, Space Time Knight. He looks slick with a Three Beast Warrior rare foil. Okay, okay, there we go, nice. I like that card, that looks pretty sick actually. Nice looking uh, card artwork. Are this the Mimi Tribe? I think this is like a decent looking artwork for the Mimi Tribe and I'm usually not a fan. Let's keep it going. Let's see what we got in this one here. Dark Sphere, Tears of Amadeus, Windora again. Dinner, tr dinner time, dinner time. Alice enters the game of gods. Alice waking up from her slumber. Super rare, very nice. With Phantom Beast, uh, Beastmaster of Mant as our normal foil, a poppin' foil too. That's pretty sick looking. I'll be honest. I'm a little bummed that the cards are already kind of warping. Uh, even from this being just brand new release, like hasn't been sitting out or anything. I don't know, has the card quality gone down on Force of Will? I certainly hope not. Shiva's Encouragement, normal, super rare. We got Rudra, God of Rampaging Winds. Cool, another very cool looking god there, I guess. Dedicated Dual Normal Foil, looks pretty sick. I like that one. Yeah, that, is that Prissia? That looks like Prissia, right? Prissia and Shiva, Dedicated Dual. Next up, let's see it. We've got the Tears of Something. Uh, Titors, Space Time Mage again, the Power of Zeus, Fairy of Mayot, that'd be a cool foil one to get, I think. Oh, Excalibur Fallen is our rare. With Adam in the World of Duels, rare foil. 
Okay, weird looking bunny, but nice looking artwork. I'll give it that, that's cool. Let's see it, let's see it. Come on, let's keep going. When will our first J Ruler appear? Whoa, that was like a Shelob type character. Crawler from Between the Cracks of Time. Yo, that's kind of a sick spider, not gonna lie. Super rare, Duas Machina enters the game of gods. That is a pretty sick card. I like his character a lot. Dante's Dark Wave Normal Foil, bonkers. Okay, cool artwork though. Keep the packs flying. Man, oh man. Why are these cards warping already? They shouldn't be doing that. They shouldn't be doing that. But we got a Marvel Rare. Titor, 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 Tior. Emissary from the future. Nice artwork on him. Really, really nice, actually. Lots of cool steampunk detail on it. Marvel Rare should have some value nonetheless, even though we're not doing prices. Setting the stage for Providence is our normal foil. Looking pretty sick, but what is actually happening here? I'm not quite sure. Is that a, like a head helmet or something and then a hand? I don't know. Bang in on, let's go in. We got the knights, we got the skipping cards. Back to nature, we saw that one anyways. Shiva, Phantom Beastmaster, our rare is the three tea party members. Okay, we got a bunny, the Ma I saw the Mad Hatter, I don't know, and then like whatever the hell that is, a little squirrel. Behind it, yeah, dude, super rare full art foil, Angie, Ang Angie, 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 Anki, God of Rampaging Flames. That is sick, dang. That is some stellar artwork right there. Really pops off the card. I'm impressed with that one a lot, actually. That looks really sharp. All right, I reloaded on packs, and now we reload into Game of Gods Reloaded. Let's keep moving and grooving here. We've got Power of Zeus and Rare Lucifer defeated One Wing. Okay, okay, that's a Lucifer card, so not terrible on that one. Super Rare, bang, nice. Alice enters the Game of Gods foil. Full art, this one I'm thinking will hold some value once everything levels out. So this I think should be a decent hit right here. That's for sure. Next one, come on Shiva. I wanna get Shiva as a J ruler for sure. I loved her card in, uh, where is it? Decisive Battle of Valhalla. Great freaking card from that set, awesome card. Adam in the World of Duels is our rare. And then we've got Tea Party before the Decisive Duel is our little rare foil. Everybody's sitting around the table. They're all happy before they fight. Are they eating shawarma like the Avengers? Who knows, but they're just chilling and drinking tea. And maybe there's a shawarma appearance on the table. I'll have to go back and look. That'd be funny if the artist actually did that little callback to some Marvel Avengers there. Knight of Knights, super rare. I guess that is the helmet. That's the other guy we saw, right? That's... That is the weirdest looking helmet thing I've ever seen. Okay, what's behind it? Normal tiny dragon of Matt. Uh, it looks more like a squirrel thing than a dragon. Okay, okay, we're getting weird squirrels, but we're getting decent pulls. See, there's the guy again. I don't know about his card artwork. I don't know about it. Uh, we got Fallen Angel in the arena normal. That is a sick card. Give me that in a full art, please. Holy cow, that's awesome. Talk about a dope artwork. Rare Arena Expansion Demonic World. There we go, there we go. Um, decent, decent. It's got some good atmospheric stuff. But Dark Charlotte Alternative. Whoa, that's pretty sick, man. Super rare full art. Dark Charlotte altern Alternative. Is that actually her name? Because I don't remember this card from the spoilers. Is this is like an alternate art. <laughs> That'd be sick, but I don't know if they put it in the title without like parentheses. So I'm guessing this is just like the name of the card, but either way, sick freaking card. That is freaking dope. Dark Charlotte. Finally, the first version of Charlotte that I actually dig because usually her cards I just don't, I'm not super fond of. So that's a great, that's a great hit. I don't know. Charlotte just never struck me with any good artwork in the past. So if they're switching it up like they did Schrodinger and they're making me turn into a Charlotte fan, that's fine with me. They kind of turned me into a Schrodinger fan from uh, the recent sets. World of Amadeus, rare. Love, love, love this artist. It's so, so beautiful. Like, come on. Can you get any better than that? That's so great. And behind it, there he is, Arthur Space Time Knight. Full art foil, pretty sick. That is awesome looking. And it's a good artist too. Love this guy as well. He's got some sharp looking like fades on all his coloring. It looks really nice. Keep it coming, come on. All right, I think we've seen a good amount of the normals, but that's okay if we haven't. We're, you know, I've got another box. If you guys wanna see me open up a second box, let me know in the comments if you're enjoying this. Charlotte, Chasing Light. So I guess she turns a little bit evil 
goes a little bit alternate, uh, but sick card for her too on this one. That's pretty dope, super rare. And then a normal Mimi Tribe Brave. We can just, you know, go ahead and toss this one to the side. Mimi Tribe, Mimi Tribe. I don't know. Does anybody make a deck with the Mimi Tribe? Is it good even? I don't know. I don't play it enough to know, but uh, they just kind of annoy me. I don't think I'd ever go there and make a deck around them. Arena Expansion, Sky Round version 2, and Dolores Space Time Vehicle super not super rare just a rare foil that's a sick looking steampunk thing though i can dig it banging on let's see it come on we haven't seen a j ruler yet like what's up with that we've been seeing some really really good um super rares and rare full arts arthur again and then we got titor's gimmick normal foil titor titor come on j ruler let's see it we we should be guaranteed to i don't think anything's changed since the last few sets so we should get a couple J-Rulers, but where are they hiding? Marvel Rare, Chichimi, Divine Power, Marvel Rare, Mimi Tribe over here, I guess. Uh, so we'll see. Maybe they'll have value, maybe it won't. Behind it, we got a normal Alice's Fantastic Trick. Raiden, is that Olivia's Dolphin? Is that what's going on there? Is she riding Olivia's Dolphin? That's pretty crazy, actually. Cool card. Next up, let's see it, and let's see what we can get. Fragment, Strategy Meeting. Are they just playing chess in that? Yo, we've got a super rare. We got the seven deadly sins. Looking sharp. Love that artwork too. Like that is pretty nice. Behind it, a normal flashing smile. Kaguya there uh, going in for a flashing smile, I guess. I don't know what kind of attack that is, but you know, if it works for her, it works. We'll see if she wins the fight. We do have a third set that's already announced for I think the end of May. Uh, I think it's like Game of Gods Resurrections or something. They're just like copying the Matrix front and back here. Mimi Tribe Festival for our rare. And behind it, we got, yo, yo, that is sick, man. I don't know which one I like better. Super rare Guinevere Space Time Witcher. Watcher, sorry, Watcher. That is sick normal artwork. Just to compare here, there's the promo buy box, the buy box promo card, and then the normal I think I'm leaning towards the buy box. It is pretty slick, but this has got its own merits. That is actually really dope. I'm going to have to sleep on that one because I really don't know which one I prefer. I, like I said, maybe the buy box by a slim margin, but like both of those are exceptionally awesome cards. Uh, Count Dracula, rare. Very nice to get him in a full art, I would think. Uh, just straight up Count Dracula here. Pretty cool. And our super rare, we got Seven Deadly Sins. Very nice. I'm thinking this should be a solid pull too. A very nice foil. I mean, come on, look at that foiling. Very, very sharp. Let's do another. Let's see what we can get in this one. We've got the Shelob girl again, Mimi Tribe Festival. Super rare, Tales of Fantasia super rare. Very nice, very nice. And... We've got mass-produced Knight of the Round Table. Okay, they're mass-producing the Knights. Interesting, interesting. Just the normal, though. On to the next. Let's see it. What do we got in this one? We've got more of the same. Now we're seeing doubles quite a bit, so this is fine. We can go a little faster. We got Chasing Darkness, Virgilis. Virgilis, Chasing Darkness, rare. And another rare Excalibur Fallen. Yo, sick-looking card. Look at that Excalibur Blade. Black and red, that's sick looking, nice rare. We're actually like cruising through the box and uh, we haven't seen that J ruler yet. So they are hiding at the bottom. Be pretty cool if we could go for a God Pack too, that'd be awesome. Prissia, Dangerous Duelist, super rare. Gotta be a good card, right? It's Prissia, right? Normal Light of the Unknown. Keep it going. We're gonna speed it up a little bit, like I keep saying, but I'm not really doing it. Uh, I keep getting distracted by the beautiful artwork. We got Delphinius. Oh, it's Delphinius the whale hero. I guess it's not Olivia's dolphin. It's a whale. Is it a whale or is it a dolphin? I have no clue. Yo, but we got our first J ruler. Order of the future. Looking pretty fire. I mean, come on. That looks like craziness right there. It almost looks like, let's see a flip here. Deus Ex Machinina. Deus Ex Machinima, however you want to say it. Uh, God from future dimensions. But come on. That is some banger foiling right there on that J ruler. It almost looks something out of Vanguard, Cardfight Vanguard. It looks very much like the theme and the style of artwork you would find on those cards, uh, but it looks really freaking dope. This is awesome. Still confused about the Dolphin Whale, but we got a J-Ruler, so can't really complain too much. We, you know, we'll pass over the Dolphin Whale for a J-Ruler any day of the week. You know, I don't want some confused Dolphin Whale thing over a J-Ruler. Trishla, and yo, that is a sick looking, what is it, Rudra, God of Rampaging Winds. 
that is actually a dope looking foil. Not a huge fan of the artwork itself, but it looks great with the foiling. I'll give it that. Oh boy. Okay, we still need one more J ruler. So we'll see if we can find it there. Yo, wait, what's she? Ooh, what's she about? Space time major ma ooh, 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 okay. Another one to look out for in a full art. I'm thinking sniper shot rare with back to nature normal full art rare. Not rare, normal. I said that. Come on, let's see it. We've got bang, 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 the flashing smile, and our rare Dolores here, space-time vehicle with Yo, let's go, Count Dracula, full art foil. That's it, kind of wanted him. He's pretty dope looking, nice artwork. It's uh, pretty, pretty freaking sweet. I like him. It should have some value, I'm thinking too, maybe. Next up, let's see it. Let's go. We've got their little meeting, the comets hurling in, a fairy, a phantom, dark Charlotte, super rare alternative, just the normal version, and the power of Zeus, normal foil. That is sick though. I like that artwork. It's just, I love the ones that's more simplistic. It looks really nice. Box is empty. This is all we got left. So that last J ruler is hiding at the end here. Let's see it. Hopefully uh, along with a God pack or something. That'd be pretty crazy. Marvel rare. Are you a multi-dimensional wanderer? Dope. Her cards never see like a ton of value, unfortunately, but it's a Marvel rare. So like extra special, maybe that'll help a little bit. Behind it, we got normal strategy meeting. Them just playing chess. It's a nice looking card though. Let's see the next one here. Come on, we've got the cloned Knights of the Round Table, I guess. Knowledge and Arena Expansive, Lannis Ferreria. I don't know how the frick you're saying that, but okay. Yo, Shiva, let's go. Our second J ruler is Shiva. Frick, yeah, dude, that's sick. I mean, she looks freaking dope. I think I still prefer her Decisive Battle uh, card artwork, but she's nice. Providence of Nature, she's got like the blue fist coming out of her. And then she's got the flaming blue fist just popping off with the foiling. It looks really sick. A good, good pull. I've seen her going for, you know, again, 25, 30, something like that. But, you know, you can expect as much from these newer sets and these newer J rulers. But, man, they don't miss with these J rulers right now. They look fire. No pun intended. Okay, we got our second J ruler. Now, all we can hope for is a magical, magical luck of a god pack, which, you know, I have pretty good luck with finding those on the new set releases. So we'll see. T party before the decisive duel and tears of amadeus here as our normal foil that looks freaking metal as hell dang pretty lucky but you know we only got four packs so we'll see about that god pack i believe it's not in this pack because there's no foil on top but that's okay that's okay nara left it up doll fallen angel oh come on give me a great box and give me that as a full art uh mimi tribe giant lame and yo yo that is crazy awesome. Marvel Rare Full Art Foil, Amadeus Beloved Fallen Angel. That is freaking amazing. Come on, man. He's so good. He's such a good artist. Such an amazing looking card. That's just freaking, um, that's, I can't even say anything else. It's just really, really sharp. I mean, stunning, stunning work. Don't know if that one's going to have a ton of value, but it is a nice foil Marvel Rare. So like, fingers crossed for that being good. A good pull, Space Time, Dark Sphere, Power of Zeus, Lancelot, Space Time Knight as our rare. And then we've got Virgilus Chasing Darkness Rare Full Art Dope card. I love it. That's a sick one. Man, we've been finding some really good hits in this box. This, I feel like this is a, a sharp box. There's only one way to close it out. God Pack. Two packs. Will it be a God Pack? Not this one. Not this one. All right. It all comes down to that last pack. But... That's okay. That's okay. We've been doing fan freaking tastic, super rare Marabella and Violet chasing fire. Okay, okay. With, I already kind of saw it. It's shoot the Mimi normal as a foil. Okay, okay. Last pack, it all comes down to this. And if you guys have enjoyed, again, make sure to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you want to see me open up a second box of this set and stay tuned for more. But let's get into this final pack here. Can we pull it out with the final pack with a God pack? I have my doubts, but let's see it. It is not, it is not. But how can we close it out with the last card? Let's see. We got Unity, Mimi Tribe. Yo, Shiva enters the game of gods. Dope artwork. Kind of prefer this artwork over her J Ruler artwork. I'm not gonna lie. That looks really, really good. Behind it, it's just a normal. It's the crawler from in between the cracks of time. She lob with a skull on her back. Sick card, but you know, it's just a normal, so. That's how we close it. All right, really quick, let's do some pulls of the day. Now, these are all just going to be kind of guesses of uh, what I think will retain some value or have some really good value in the future once things settle down. 
and or just my favorite cards. This one is not my favorite card, but it is Adam in the World of Duels, and I do think it will have some value. Uh, Count Dracula, kind of more of a fave. I don't know if it'll actually have value in the future. This one I'm thinking might. Looks like a dope, super rare to get. Alice should definitely, Enters the Game of Gods, should have some value on these full art foils. Dark Charlotte, man, just a favorite card. I hope she's worth some decent value. Excalibur Fallen, guessing on this one. Uh, Verlis Chasing Darkness, kind of guessing on this one, but he was popular in the last set, so we'll see. You can't not include this. It's one of my faves that we pulled, and it's a Marvel Rare Foil. God, so good. And then we get into the J Rulers. Obviously, these are going to have value, but they're still dope nonetheless, and so we got to go look into them here. We got Deuces Machina here, and then we got Shiva. Oh, so sick. Shiva looks really, really good. Awesome, awesome card. That was Game of Gods Reloaded. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe again. And thank you for watching all the way to the end. Hopefully you guys enjoy the new look of the channel here and all the little changes I've been making over the last two years. It's been so much fun. And hopefully this spice things up a little bit. It's a nice change of pace for me. So hopefully you guys enjoy it too. And yeah, stay tuned for more. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a second box of Game of Gods Reloaded. And we'll see you in the next one.